welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. Today we're going to talk about Photoscape. This is the next video in our series. And today we're going to talk about the difference between the page, which is right here, and combine. You'll also notice right up above, you'll find combine and page right here. So let's click on page and talk about it first. And why would I use it? I could use it for Facebook. I could use it for Twitter, my web page, uh, many different uses, a newsletter. You might want to make sort of a collage of pictures. So just for the sake, I want to show you there's all these different designs, and as you click on them over here on the right, you get the design and the look. So I'm just going to go with a four square, and actually this is five pictures, because this one is the background. So I'm going to grab something that's got a nice look to it for the background, which is a nice blue water, and we'll come down and grab some pictures that maybe are water related. Now one of the things about this you'll notice is whoops, when you grab this picture you can't make it, you can make it bigger but you cannot make it smaller than its left to right up down uh, ratio. So you just have to be able to move it to where you want it, be happy with it and make sure the pictures you want work. Okay. So the same thing is true for the background. So I can make the background really big and kind of get that boat sort of where I want it. And I'm going to come out here and uh, let's see. There I am water skiing. That's pretty good. That's an old picture. And we'll get uh, a picture of the lake here. There we go. So you can make that much bigger. And again, move it around to where you get what you want. Okay, So there you go. I don't know if I necessarily want me water skiing there. I'm going to go with something a little better with a nice scene. There we go. Again, I can make this bigger so you can kind of really see uh, what we got here, some reflection. And you can zoom out on this and move it a little bit and fill the picture a little bit. So again, if you don't like a picture and you want to drop something else on top, you just drag it over. I'm going to make this big again, and I don't know if you can see this in the video, but those are stars, and that's a rainbow. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I have some rounded edges here that I must have put and used in another one, so I'm going to get that off. It does pretty much come with the margins at one. Uh, the round is zero. You can see that it's got the margin is black. I'll show you what happens when I make it larger. You end up with big black scare, uh, uh, squares. It gives it a cool look there with two. The size here is 302 by 202. This is probably what I use most often. I think the default is normally 100. So it's a, <coughs> excuse me, a fairly large picture. And if you're using it for a website, that might be too big, or it might not. Maybe you want that to be your banner page or something else. So you can come down and do a 4 to 3 ratio, so it'll squish everything. Of course, if you do that, you got to come in and make sure you adjust your pictures so they look good. But you can do that. So for me, again, if you're looking for a specific uh, size, um, that's here under the size. And I could even do a 5-4. I can come here in the size and do a 2-3. Um, you know, so it's just a different size look to what you're, um, and again, if I come down here again and go to 75%, I can still change this to a 3-2. And Again, if I do that, I probably have to change some things, but not too much. Um, I'm going to bring my flower down a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm going to bring this up, make it about 90%. And I've now got a great little page, a great little picture, so I'm ready to go. And you notice, obviously, we have frames over here, and if the whole picture is created, when you pick a frame, you have to be fairly careful, because if you pick this, you get a a very squirrely look on your frame. Um, we'll come back here and make sure we pick no frame. But if you wanted just this flower maybe, or this picture here, or this one let's say, to have a frame, you click on that. There's lots of frames in Photoscape. I mean you can just have tons and tons of frames and you can give it sort of a transparent look. I'm just going to cancel it. That's not what I want. But that's what frames are. And filters be careful because if your picture is highlighted here, it will just affect the one picture. I'll click off into this box area, go to the filter, 
and maybe choose uh, sepia and it will take a second here my computer is fairly slow and there we go so it makes it look sepia I'll go back to the original picture because I like that and again I'm gonna click on this back picture because I can't see my boat there's the boat there we go that's good I'm gonna just try to see the boat back in there I just really want to get it kind of look like you can see there's a boat there so now I just save it and we'll just call this boat scene or boat one and I'm going to save it the size is very small great for websites uh, if you make it bigger I'm just gonna pop it up to 200 here and now when I go to save you'll notice uh, I'll set boat two and it's much larger but still a very a small file for using on a website or something that's going to be online so there you go that is using page now let's talk about the difference with combined okay now what we're gonna do is go to combined and combined is a little different I call it making in a way a sort of a bookmark I'll just grab a bunch of pictures here I don't need that one and just drag them up to the top up here much like you do when you make a GIF now what I have checked here is checker the default is down so of course it would make a very long uh, picture the default also is much bigger I set that reference uh, size myself I usually do it to 150 it keeps the pictures fairly small you can set it to anything you want uh, if you come here and you wanted to set that reference size to 200 by 200 and again it just makes it all bigger and I have a lot of pictures in here so really I can also choose side which is great someone asked me what would I use this for a banner for Facebook a banner for Twitter a banner for your YouTube channel uh, and again you can actually set the actual size you need so if you know what size you need for those banners you can just put it in there you can also tell this margin that you want it to be smaller so you don't have so much black I'm gonna to stick to one and the intervals of photos is just sort of the interval between I'm gonna stick it to I keep it right around two and again you can set frames same type of thing when you go to checker the cool thing is you get these columns Now I'd already set it to three but if you one which is the default you have one long column and if you and again with the preview by the way you can come down here and kind of see what the whole thing looks like oops very small so if I say two columns it sort of makes a box I'm short a picture so I would have to add that picture in and if I come here to three then I have three columns and again I can just come down find a picture I want to use drag it up there and it automatically pops in there the difference you can see is you can't move them like you can in page they sort of you can tell it just how to center it but for the most part it's the way it is so it's a quick and easy way to make a nice little banner a um, little different than page and a little more um, restrictive I think than what you get but a, a but a great tool nonetheless again you can save it you can of course add spaces and add uh, more pictures and you can save it here as whatever you wanted to I'll just do this as um, combine one and again your quality and the size is right there you can also once you're done with these at any time you can click on edit which automatically opens up the editor and you can see your photo and edit it here so we could do something really fun with it today like make a box now let's say make a box and we'll have to show the middle so there we go We've got a double box there those are kind of crazy things you can do um, but they're kind of fun so we'll talk more about the editor in the future I hope you've enjoyed our video by the Peppy Techie and I hope you'll watch more videos thanks a lot don't forget to subscribe thanks